Miriam, you've gone too far this time. If the slaver sees it this... It doesn't matter. You're leaving today. Miriam, I can't. You can. It will be different this time. But my foot... It's healing nicely. Here, put these on. Miriam, where are you getting all of this stuff from? You will soon be free, but you must put on the full armour and be ready. I can't run wearing all of that. Now is not the time to run. Now is the time to stand. But Miriam... Please, Timothy. No more questions for now. I need you to trust me, even though you may not understand what is happening. Miriam, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong, Timothy. It's just, we'll both be going home very soon. And our homes are far away from each other. Promise me you will remember. I will remember everything. Now, hurry, put on the full armour. There is so much more I want to say, but there is no time. It is for freedom that Christ set you free. Stand firm now. Miriam, I'm afraid. Timothy, guard what has been entrusted to your care. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Grace, mercy and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. Shalom, my child. Miriam? What is the meaning of this? Where did he get that armor by Jupiter? He must have stolen it. From whom exactly? There's no one within a hundred stadia. You fool. Do you realize what you've done? This armor was made for Lucius Quintus. You kidnapped the governor's son. Impossible. I know this boy's parents, they are Christians from Corinth. This must be some sort of deception. The Christians are known for their evil sorcery. Would you like to try and convince the governor of that or shall I? Come Lucius, you're free. Why are you helping me? Because it's the right thing to do. But be silent. We're not safe yet. Cornelius! Why did we take this road? We could have been back at the governor's palace by now. We have another task first. What task? What task, Cornelius? Where are we going? To Corinth. By the gods, Cornelius, have you lost your mind? You are. Quod nomen to be est. Quod nomen to be est. He speaks no Latin. He is no Roman. He can't be the governor's son. He's in shock. Leave him be. Look at him. He's clearly a Greek. Julius, look. 
Yes, the son of the couple from Corinth we arrested last week. The brat that bit me. Well, well, well. Cornelius Decimus, you are under arrest by order of the Emperor Domitian. Stand down in the name of Caesar! <laughs> Stand firm, Timothy! Stand firm! Drop the gladius, boy! Drop it! Timothy? Timothy? Someone's looking after you, Timothy. Come. It's a long road to Corinth. Are we going to see Mother and Father? Yes, Timothy. Grace and peace. Grace and peace, Timothy. That day, I promised I would always remember. I would always remember my Christian brothers and sisters who were suffering while I was free. I would always remember Cornelius, who taught me that God never leaves us without friends. And I would always remember Miriam, who taught me of the armor of God. Many years later, I founded Castle Imperium, so that I would never forget. And long after I'd outgrown the armor of Lucius Quintus, I began every day by putting on the full armor of God.